Hi everyone. Today what I would like to do is uh, do a comparison for you between the standard US GI uh, military issue poncho and the Equinox poncho and shelter combination. This is an ultralight piece of equipment. Uh, very nice, but let's take a look at the dimensions first. You can see just sitting side by side how much smaller the Equinox poncho uh, closes up. And if you look at the weight on the Army poncho, the Army poncho weighs just slightly under 23 ounces. The Equinox weighs just right around 8.5 ounces. As far as size goes, they're pretty comparable in size. The Army poncho is 64 inches by 80 inches, and the Equinox poncho is 90 inches by 59 inches. That means the Army poncho is about a little over 35 square feet, and the Equinox is just right around 36 square feet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quick put them both on to show you how the size compares. So with the Army poncho, start out and find the hood. And you can see the overall size of the Army Poncho. If I stand up, you can see the size of it. Now, do the same thing with the Equinox Poncho. See the size of the Equinox poncho. Slightly shorter in the arms, but overall it's a good size poncho. Now, let me give you a close up look at a couple of things on the two different ponchos. If you look at the military poncho, you can see it's got extremely heavy duty grommets in the corners and then it's got snaps in order to close the poncho. They're very solid um, and very heavily put together. On the Equinox, in the corners, instead of grommets, they have these nylon straps which are double sewn in, uh, very well reinforced and to hold the poncho together, you can see they have snaps just like the Army poncho. And if you look on the short side, it has one strap in the middle here and then one strap on each corner. So there's going to be a total of six tie out points on this Equinox tarp. And with the Army tarp, on a side, you're going to have a grommet in each corner and a grommet in the middle, which gives you your six tie-off points. And then you're going to have the snaps along the other side. But both tarps have six tie-off points. The Army poncho is significantly heavier. They're both about the same square feet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to pitch uh, the Equinox tarp so you can see how spacious it is. And we'll be right back. Well, it took about 10 minutes to set up the Equinox poncho shelter as a shelter. And what I've done is I've laid the military poncho on top so you can have a comparison size. Uh, if I was going to pick one, I would probably pick the Equinox tarp simply because it weighs about one-third of what the military poncho weighs. 
packs into about probably 20% of the space that the military one weighs and it's almost the same size. What I'm going to do now is have my cameraman take a walk around the shelter so you can see um, how this sets in an A-frame. And while he goes around, we're going to have uh, just a little bit of silence here. He's going to show you the side of the tarp. You can see that the military poncho hangs down a little bit more, but not all that much more. And as you go down, you can see that I've got my feet completely covered. This would be a very, very easy shelter to sleep in. I would have no concerns if it was raining out sleeping in this shelter. It's plenty long. Using a pitching kit with a couple of pieces of paracord and a few and a few stakes, uh, this is a, an easy shelter to make. It's extremely light, and I'm very happy with it. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope you're having a good day. And hey, take your kids camping.